Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, with the drop in the global price of oil, we know now more than ever how important it is that we diversify our markets for energy products. I've heard from constituents and industry alike who've told me they want, if we want to increase our market access going forward, we need to ensure that these new markets see Alberta as one of the most environmentally responsible energy producers in the world. To the Minister of Energy, how is the climate leadership plan influencing the national conversation on pipelines? Honourable Minister of Energy. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you for the question. Certainly, the, our uh, leadership plan, climate leadership plan, places us, in, places us in good stead going forward in the conversation. The week after it was announced, um, I had comments from a, a national group that said it had already turned the conversation around on pipelines. We're balancing the need of uh, a stronger action on climate change with uh, sustainably developing our resources. And uh, just recently, an abacus poll showed that two-thirds of Canadians support pipelines as well as a renewable energy strategy. Thank you, Minister. Mr. Speaker, given that the previous approach to pipelines and market access has not been working, and given that we need to ensure that we are working in a collaborative way if we want to continue to move forward, again to the Minister of Energy, how has industry responded to our approach? Honourable Minister of Energy. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you for the question. Industry absolutely understands that we need to work thoroughly and collaboratively uh, as partners to get pipelines to built to Tidewater. That's why uh, recently Murray Edwards of CNRL and Brian Ferguson of Synovus published an op-ed on behalf of many companies. They said it's time for a new conversation about building pipelines in this country about how Canada can get a full value for its oil production while also invent, in, addressing environmental concerns, including climate change. This dialogue needs to take place in... Thank you, Honourable Min Minister. I want to remind members again, keep the volume down, please, Honourable Members. I'm looking at you. Second supplemental. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Given that increased market access is not only good for Alberta, but good for all of Canada, and given that we've seen some hesitance from parts of the country in getting on board, to the same minister, are we getting through to our provincial counterparts? Mr. Energy. Thank you again, Mr. Speaker, for the question. Uh, Mr. Speaker, just this morning I was pleased to hear Premier Wynne say that she supports our approach. She said, it is very important to me that within the context of the Canadian energy strategy, we find a way to support the responsible, environmentally responsible transportation of fuel. Mr. Speaker, we will continue to have respectful and thoughtful conversations and our, with our, both our federal and uh, provincial counterparts as we move forward with this important project.